So guys, a lot of people have been talking about Anthony Yard and Sergei Kovalev. Um, and, it, and Anthony Yard has come out and said that, you know, he's quite confident that he knocks out... Um, he not he knocks out Sergey Kovalev. Now it's a risky, risky fight and a fight that I don't know whether Frank Warren is chomping at his bits to make because I think he understands that, you know, Sergey Kovalev is a problem. He still people thought he was shot, but he still got enough in that Alvarez fight as he saw he boxed his way to a win. Maybe he wasn't as ruthless as what people were expecting him to be, but he still got enough to really trouble Anthony Yard and beat him convincingly in my opinion um anthony yard has got power and one thing i like about anthony yard he's a big guy he's a big guy which andre ward's not a fan of but i think i think he could blast you out i think he's probably one of the biggest light heavyweights right there and i think if he connects on your chin there's a great chance you're gonna go you could go to sleep or you could fall because i think he's got power anthony yard's got power now it's just whether he goes into later rounds and that muscle and that size is going to, against a guy that's really coming to fight, is going to is gonna work against him because we know that muscular guys do have trouble. Joshua's had stamina issues. Yard's obviously not been in a, in a real fight of such, so we don't, we, those stamina issues haven't come to surface. Uh, whereas Anthony Joshua's obviously been in the ring with a lot of top heavyweights, so we've seen him struggle in certain fights. Unfortunately for Yard, he's not been tested and when you've not been tested, you don't want to be going into a world title fight. But then, however, Joshua, you could say, was tested before the world title fight, but he was fighting a fighter who you would say was unproven himself in Charles Martin. The fight was dangerous because no one knew who Charles Martin was. So that's why it was dangerous. But after the fight and what Charles Martin's done in his career prior to that clearly shows that he's not really an elite level heavyweight. So Joshua's always going to beat him. Now... With Kovalev, Kovalev's a, a world beater. Kovalev's been a world beater. Yes, people think he's probably passed his best a little, but nevertheless, in his last fight, he showed he still got enough to beat someone like Anthony Yard. So th there's a big problem. And when you've got the experience of Kovalev and the inexperience of Anthony Yard, you know, that in itself is a huge problem for someone like Yard. You know, is Yard's brute strength, brute speed going to be able to overcome an experienced champion like Kovalev? I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a very, very tough fight. Is it, gonna, is it worth taking the risk right now? Because if Yard beats Kovalev, he becomes a superstar. He becomes a pay-per-view fighter right away in the UK after not many fights. So it's a gamble. But if he get, gets beat, and it, it depends on how he gets beat. If he, if he fights a valiant fight, then, you know, of course, his name's going to be up there. But if he, gets, if he gets blown out of the water, then, you know, of course, that's going to hurt his profile. Especially because people are going to say, well, you know, first time he stepped up, he got ba he got battered. Whereas if he can put up a great fight or even win, his profile, in my opinion, goes through the roof. So there's a risk, there's a risk that that you take, but he's risking a chance to become a massive superstar if he beats Kovalev. So it's whether you want to take that risk now because you're going to have to take, you're going to have to jump into a risk, and you're going to have to fight somebody that you know may beat you anyway. Could beat you because you, light heavyweight division stacks. Someone that's not even a champion could beat Yard, you know. So like Badu Jack in Yard, for example, right? Badu Jack lost his last fight. I don't even know whether Badu he beats Badu Jack. So this is what I'm trying to say that that light heavyweight division is stacked. Leave your thoughts, guys. Do you think Anthony Yard knocks out Sergey Kovalev? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.